to the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page and our Facebook live stream of uh, tonight's varsity basketball action here at the Red Zone at Hicksville High School between the Lady Aces and the visiting Lady Panthers of Paulding. Varsity game getting ready to get underway. Bill Murphy, Chris Warner with you on the live stream. We're getting ready to turn it over to the floor announcer as we get ready for the national. Good evening, Football. everyone, and thank you for attending tonight's contest. Fans from both schools, please remember that all spectators are required to follow state requirements for our own health and safety as well as the safety of others. Please be sure you are wearing a face covering at all times. Make sure you and your family maintain social distancing of at least six feet from others. Do not gather before, during, or after the contest. We hope you enjoy tonight's event and thank you for your continued support of interscholastic athletics. Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome to Hicksville High School, an exciting evening of high school basketball. Tonight, the Polding Panthers, coached by Matt Orlando, will take on our own Hicksville Aces, coached by Josh Freeze. Board of Education, Superintendent, and Athletic Council of Hicksville High School extend to each of you a cordial welcome to tonight's basketball game. Both Hicksville High School and Pauling High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by the highest standards of conduct and sportsmanship required during athletic competition. Your officials for tonight's contest are Paul Stoll, Al Reisucker, and Tony Cotter. Their experience and integrity qualify them for their important part in this friendly interscholastic basketball game. Now introducing the starting lineups for the Pauling Panthers. At guard, 5'5 junior, number one, Claire Schweller. At guard, 5'5 junior, number 11, Janae Peace. At guard, 5'8 senior, number 20, Maggie Mann. At forward, 5'9", junior, number 24, Audrey Giesley. And at center, 6'0", senior, number 55, Sadie Eskall. The Panthers are coached by Matt Rolano, Ryan Dager, Ben Barton, and Jody Griffin. And now introducing the lineups for your own Hinksville Aces. At guard, 5'10", junior, number three, Avery Slattery. At guard, 5'6", senior, number four, Kennedy Phillips. At forward, six foot sophomore, number 10, Kinsey Schrader. At forward, 5'4", junior, number 12, Izzy Smith. And at guard, 5'10", sophomore, number 15, Molly Crawl. The Aces are coached by Josh Freeze, Ryan Miser, Bob Weatherhead, and Natalie Bristey. So there you have it. Pre-game introductions from floor announcer Mr. Paul Overmeyer, one of the co-athletic directors here at Hicksville. Again, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Chris Warner running the iPad Pro camera here tonight. Trying to keep it stable, not doing too good of a job. <laughs> Bouncing it all around. And we're ready to jump center circle. It's going to be Schrader up against Estel. And the tip controlled. Well, Schrader got a hand on it, but and we got an early travel. A bump from behind and moved her legs. So, Alden gets the ball first. Not much happening. And we're ready to get back into action. Crawl for the Lady Aces to Slattery. Slattery inside to Phillips. So puts it back to Slattery. Looking things over, the junior varsity game was dominated by the Lady Panthers. They waylaid the Hicksville JVs. Looking for a better outcome here in the varsity matchup. All knocked loose. Smith gets a hold of it, but it's knocked away. And it comes into the hands of Holden. Quickly down the floor, that's Peace. Today Peace, number 11, flips it over to Audrey Giesegui. Giesegui works into the paint, puts up a runner, no good. Essel with the rebound, nothing doing there. 
She kicks it back out. Three-point attempt is no good. And Smith grabs it quickly to Slattery. Slattery to Crawl. Crawl. Goes up, puts it up. No good. And she's going to draw the foul. Crawl not able to get the bucket to drop, but she'll draw the infraction and she'll shoot two. That'll be the first personal on Jalen Parrott, number two. And team foul number one on the Panthers. Molly Crawl at the line. First shot. Good. Crawl will get her second one. Gets them both. Here come the Lady Panthers. Long pass across court. They kick it back. Shot up from three point land. It's short. Saved by Essel. They kick it back out. Driving into the paint. That was Parrott. Had it stripped away. Lizzie Smith. Trying to lose it out of bounds. Smith going just a little bit too fast, but. His ball was assisted out of bounds. Schrader inbounds and puts it up in. Lindsay Schrader with the bucket to make it 4-0. Lady Aces early on. Long three, and that's good from the top of the team. Jaden Parrott makes it a one-point game, 4-3, with 6.25 to go in our opening quarter. Crawl to Slattery. Loses it. Almost loses it, but they get to the back and get the ball back. He's into a double team, kicks it back out. And that one is stolen away. Phillips comes up with it. And a 30 second timeout from Coach Josh Reese. His Lady Aces lead by a point, four to three. As Kelsey Monroe is going to get ready to check in for the Lady Aces. Quick 30-second timeout early in the game. As Coach Freese obviously seeing something he wasn't too happy with or something that concerned him, and he wants to address it right away. Bill and Chris, glad to have you here with us. Thank you for joining us as we bring you live coverage here on our Facebook page. Of course, you may be watching this on the tape delay on Mediacom Channel 12 or on uh, Video On Demand on our YouTube channel. Whatever the case may be, we're glad to have you with us. Hope you'll enjoy tonight's coverage. It's the home opener for the Lady Aces here tonight on this Tuesday, December 1st. Hicksville's ball, Schrader getting ready to handle the inbounds. She'll get it into Crawl, and Molly will bring it across half court. Down to Schrader. Schrader goes straight to the hoop, puts it up off glass, no good. Rebound comes down to Essel. Has it, has it yanked out of her hands by Schrader, and Schrader goes airborne and hits the deck. It's going to be Ace's ball underneath the hoop. Into Schrader. Back down to Crawl. Crawl kicks it out to Phillips. And Crawl again. Crawl puts it up. No good. Schrader. And steps on the end line. That'll be a turnover on the Lady Aces. And the Panthers get the ball back. Parrott will inbound to Pease. Pease. Puts it down to Giesebe. Giesebe demands, demands. Leaves it down to Parrott. All loose. Right through your hands to Pease. So, get it to Giesebe. Out of the corner, shot is up. No good for Mans, and out of bounds. Kelsey Monroe into the game now. And that'll be the second foul, second personal on the Jalen Parrott, and team foul number two on the Panthers. 505 to go. And Lady Aces with the ball back. They lead four to three. Monroe keeps it inside the Schrader. Schrader puts it up to no good, partially blocked. But she gets her own rebound. The putback goes down. Four points down for Kenzie Schrader. As the Aces increase their lead now, six to three. Throw into the game, and her pass is 
taken away. Crawl gets it back to Schrader. Schrader looking for some help. Gets it to Phillips. Phillips beats it to Leah Seitz who puts it in. Lucy Eicher, number 22. Eicher into the game now for the Lady Aces. As I mentioned, Claire Schweller, number one in the game for the Lady Panthers. Shot from Lucy up off the iron, no good. Schweller put back and it's slapped away. And here comes Kroll. She'll hold up and let the rest of the team catch up to her. To Monroe. Monroe. Shot up by Eicher, no good. Comes down to Phillips. Phillips back to Eicher. On the wing, Eicher. Going to get the over and back. Nope, it was knocked out of her hand, so it's not an over and back. Gets to crawl. Phillips. And up and good by Schrader. Andy Schrader now with a half open point. 3.23 to go in our opening quarter. Shot up, off the glass, and good for Keyes. Keyes makes it a 10-5 game. Eicher traveled. Eicher took a little step while she was throwing the ball. And that'll be a turnover back to the Lady Panthers. Audrey Gienzegui, getting ready to inbounds. Today, Keyes standing by to get the inbounds. Keyes does. 3-10 to go in our opening quarter. Here come the Lady Panthers. Down to Sweet. To Schweller, excuse me. To Gizegi. Gizegi puts it up. No good. But she'll draw the foul and go to the line. That'll be on Crawl. That'll be her first personal. Team foul number one on the Lady Aces. And Audrey Gizegi will go to the line for the Lady Panthers to shoot two with 2.58 to go in our opening quarter. Her first one's good. Gizegi's first point of the night makes it 10 to 6. Ball will come out of the game and Slattery back in for the Lady Aces. Gizegi's second shot also good. Two points for Audrey Gizegi and that makes it 10 to 7. Phillips will come back into the game for Monroe on the Aces side. So we've got Iker, Phillips, Smith, Slattery, and Schrader on the floor for the Lady Aces. Iker. Aces spin move. Goes to the hoop, puts it up underneath, no good. But then the rebound, tosses it over to Slattery. Who shots 53. Dials up long distance. And we're going to have another whistle. That's going to be on Smith. Izzy picks up her first personal and team foul number two for the Lady Aces. 234, common foul. It'll be Foley's ball out of bounds on the side. Ball will check back in. Eicher will have a seat and catch her breath a little bit. Gizegi gets the ball into Pease. Pease working through traffic, puts up a runner and good. Four points now for Janae Pease. It is 13 to nine aces. Ball almost stripped from Schrader. Schrader, a long two from the corner. To make it 15 to nine aces. Gizegi. Two keys, down low, off the hands of Essel and out of bounds, back to the Lady Aces. We've got a six point lead, 15 to nine with 2.04 to go in quarter number one of this varsity girls basketball game. Slattery, powers it in to Schrader. Schrader bounces across the room, no good. Grabbed by Mans. Mans tries to rip her away and gain complete control, not able to completely shake Schrader. It'll be a jump ball, but the possession arrow will keep the possession with the Lady Panthers. 149 to go. Paulding with the ball. They trail by six. 15 to 9. 
Kelsey Monroe getting ready to check back in for the Lady Aces. Schweller with the ball for Paulden. Back to Pease. Back to Schweller. Down low to Mans. Mans turning around up and good. Maggie Mans with her first bucket of the night. We make it 15 to 11. Slattery driving the baseline. She's going to be fouled. Avery Slattery goes to the line. And that'll be on Sadie Essel. That'll be her first. And team foul number three on the Lady Panthers. Avery Slattery at the line. Up and no good. And will come in for Smith. Slattery will have one more. In and out, no good. Schweller gets the ball stripped away. Here comes Sadly. She gets it taken away from her. And Gieseke will come back the other way. For the Lady Panthers, Gieseke demands. Back to Gieseke on the way. Under a minute to go here in our opening quarter. Shot from three-point land, no good. Ball is loose, Schweller grabs it for the Lady Panthers. Another try from out of three-point land for Pease, and that one's good. Seven points now for Janae Pease, and it's a one-point game, 15-14. Slattery over to Phillips, Phillips for three, no good. Essel grabs the board. Here come the Lady Panthers with a chance to take the lead, and it goes out of bounds. Have an errant pass. Iker back into the game, as is Smith for the Lady Aces. Holding on now to a one point lead, 15 to 14, with 26 seconds to go in quarter number one. Crawl. Hands it off to Monroe. Monroe. Back to Crawl. Crawl. Working into the paint, puts it up, partially deflected. Essel grabs the board. Quickly the other way. Here comes Pease. Puts it up, no good. Ball's loose, Pease gets it back. Picks it out to Essel from the free throw line, no good. And grabbed by Monroe on the baseline. Bounce pass. Three here and time expires. We played one quarter of varsity girls basketball and after one, it's the Hicksville Lady Aces leading the Paulding Panthers 15 to 14 the score. We'll get ready for quarter number two. What has been a fast-moving varsity game. Heck, all Chris has had to do is just move the camera left to right, and he's over here breathing heavy like he's just ran a quarter of a mile. Hey, we want to take a moment to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt, Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford and online at jimschmidtauto.com. You're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that's brand spanking new or pre-owned, be it car, truck, van, or SUV, you can check out the complete dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. If you see something you like, you can make an appointment to stop by and see it at either Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick or Jim Schmidt Ford. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale and keeping you and your family safe under the present circumstances. They do everything they can to ensure that that is the case. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, online at jimschmidtauto.com. So proud to have them underwriting our basketball coverage again for this basketball season here on Hicksville Community Television. Bill and Chris, glad to have you with us. Getting ready for the second quarter of action. At the end of one, Aces leading the Panthers 15 to 14, and Kenzie Schrader will get ready to inbounds. Hicksville will have the ball to start quarter number two. Here we go. Crawl across the timeline. Crawl working against Parrott. Gets it off to Monroe. Back down to Crawl. Crawl puts it up and good. Crawl <laughs> makes it a 17-14 game. He's the game from three-point land. It's good. Five points now for Audrey Giesegui, and we're tied at 17. Iker stops. Short. Back the other way, Jan Janelle Pease. Pease feeds it over, long shot up, and that's good. Yeah. First 
second play of the night. David Hilton and Long Distance and timeout on the floor. With 7.16 to go in the second quarter, and the Lady Panthers now in the lead, 20 to 17. Quick 30 second timeout from Josh Freeze. 17 to 20, the Panthers trailing, or excuse me, the Aces trailing by three. Josh Freeze, animated conversation. One of the things about having the smaller crowds, with the social distancing and the coronavirus restrictions is you can sometimes hear things that you don't normally hear when you got a whole bunch of people cheering in the, in the, in the gym. 7.16 to go in our second quarter. Aces with the ball, crawl, crawl, working down to Smith. Smith puts it up, a little bit short. Rebound comes down to the Lady Panthers. Sweller. Sweller down into the corner. She'll stop. Toss it back out to Huck Huck. Huck Huck gets it to Gies Gee. Gies Gee to Sweller. Sweller from three point line and that's good. Three threes from the Lady Panthers make it a 23 to 17 game now. Holding in the lead. Schrader having all kinds of problems. Her legs fell out from underneath her. They get it down to Monroe in the corner in a double team. Monroe kicks it out to Smith. Smith, a good look at the basket. No good. Schrader with the putback. No good. Rebound comes down to Paulding. Here comes Pease. Pease into the paint. Lays it up and in. Janine Pease. Two more. And now it's 25-17. As the Panthers have gone on a 10-point run here. They were down 15-17, and then they scored the last 10 to make it 25-17. Monroe and Smith will come out. Eicher back into the game. Eicher, Schrader, Slattery, Crawl, and Phillips on the floor for the Lady Aces. Slattery to Schrader, up and in. Kinsey Schrader in double figures now with 10 points unofficially. And it's 25-19. Let's see if the Lady Aces can start battling their way back into this game. Pease down in the corner. Bounce pass underneath. They kick it right back out to Pease. From three-point land, that one's no good. That's going to be a tie-up and a jump ball between Puck Up and Crawl. Into the game, number 20, Mans. And Cuck Up will, or excuse me, Gizagi will come out for Paulding. Iker will have a seat, and Smith back in for her for the Lady Aces. On the uh, possession arrow, Paulding gets the ball after the tie-up. They'll get ready to inbounds here with 5.46 to go before halftime. Uh, an earring issue, I believe. So Estel will come in and Mans will come out. Evidently, she has an issue with some jewelry. And she's taken off some earrings. Schweller with the ball at top of the key. Guarded by Crawl and now Slattery. And a double dribble. So she'll turn it over. So Aces will get the ball back, 541. They trail by six, 25 to 19. Schrader inbounds to Slattery. Here comes Avery, across the timeline. Slattery, down low, nice speed to crawl up, no good. Essel grabs the board, can't control it though, it's loose on the floor. They have another jump ball. And the possession arrow, I think, this time should favor the Lady Aces. Molly will step out to inbounds. Crawl, looking things over, gets it in. And it's stolen away, but Schrader manages to get it back. Schrader crapped in the corner, gets out of there. And steps on the sideline, courtesy of Essel. So another turnover for the Lady Aces. 5.22 to go in the half. Inbounds, and today Pease brings the ball up for Paulding. 
Hughes. Bounce pass down into the corner. They'll kick it back out to her to Schweller at top of the key. Schweller guarded by Crawl. Moves in, stops. Bounce pass, knocked out of bounds. Tried to get it in to Supple and knocked out of bounds by Smith. So Schweller will come over to handle the inbounds. She'll get it into Pease. Five minutes to go before halftime. Schweller over to Supple. Back to Schweller. Working around the perimeter. Supple feeds it down low inside to Essel. Up and good. Sadie Essel finally manages to put some points on the board. She's been in good position, but just haven't been able to get the ball to her. Flattery for three. Six points now for Avery Slattery on a couple of three-point shots. Holding leading now 27 to 22. A five-point differential. Supple, bounce pass to Schweller. Schweller back to Supple. Down a quarter to Pease. Pease puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Schrader, and she's going to draw the foul. That'll be Janae Pease picking up her first personal. That'll be team foul number four on the Panthers with 4.13 left to go in the half. These will come out of the game. And back in will be number 24, Audrey Gizagi. Crawl. Crawl to Phillips. Phillips passes it off to Slattery. Slattery to Eicher. Eicher to Schrader. Schrader back to Crawl. Crawl baseline out of bounds. And also back in the game now for Balding Maggie Manns. And coming out will be Michaela Supple. Gizagi with the ball. 3.51 to go. Panthers leading 27-22. Gizagi, ball knocked loose. Man gets to get it back. Over to Schweller. Schweller tried to bounce pass it inside. Kicked by Schrader. So be out of bounds to the Panthers. Monroe will come in and Slattery will step out briefly. And a question from the scoring table for the official. Or to get the bookkeeping straightened out. So the ace photographer for the uh, Dixville Tribune over there. Good friend of ours, Mr. Michael Barth. So, not sure what the discrepancy is, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get you up to date here. We've uh, got an official stoppage of play, and so they're working on an issue at the scoring table. 3.41 to go here before halftime. We're in the second quarter with the Holding Lady Panthers leading the Lady Aces in this varsity match by five, 27 to 22. Bill Murphy and Chris Warner with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us. If you uh, weren't able to uh, tune in earlier, uh, earlier tonight, the uh, junior varsity game went to the uh, Lady Panthers as they uh, waylaid the Hicksville JV squad. I think at 40, let me check here, 43 to 14. Correct, yeah, 43 to 14 of the final score. And this has been a pretty well-played, hard-fought game. Again, just uh, 14 fouls on the Panthers and only two committed by the Lady Aces. Nobody in any real foul, foul trouble at this point, obviously. A couple players already in double figures for the uh, Falding Panthers. Unofficially, Janae Peace has, uh, well, she only has nine points. I apologize, nearly double figures. And uh, Kenzie Schrader for the Lady Aces, unofficially with 10. So, coming into the game now, number 11, Janae Pease. And Essel is coming out. So hopefully they have everything squared away. And we're ready to get back into action. 
After Schrader kicks the ball, it's Paulding's ball out of bounds. He's with the basketball. Guarded by Crawl. She puts it over to Schweller. Schweller back to Bees. Bees. Working into the paint. Bounce pass. Schweller is going to launch it. Long two, and it's good. Schweller makes it 29 22. Lady Ace is back down by seven. Iker into the corner, Monroe. Monroe looking for some help. Being guarded by Tucka. Gets it to Crawl. Crawl to Schrader. Schrader can handle it. It's taken away. Bizagi. Bizagi feeds it down. Shot up. No good. But a foul on Keys. Should go to the line to shoot two. That'll be on number 10. Kenzie Schrader picks up her first personal. And team foul number three for the Lady Aces. That's going to put Janae Peace at the line. She'll shoot two. As Izzy Smith gets ready to check back in for the Lady Aces. First shot, no good. By Peace. She'll have one more. Smith will come in for Iker. He's second shot. Coming up. That one's no good. Smith grabs the board. Three minutes to go. Here come the Lady Aces down by seven. Kennedy down to Monroe. Phillips gets the ball back. Phillips goes for it. And on her way to the hoop is fouled. And she'll go shoot two. So Phillips draws the foul. So you get her on the arm going to the hoop. And that'll be on Carly Huckock, number 23. That'll be her first. And team foul number five, Phillips' first free throw off the front of the iron and no good. Aces need to hit their free throws here, down by seven. Slattery into the game, and Crawl will come out for Hicksville. Shot is up, and that one no good. Schrader grabs the rebound, puts it up, no good. Schrader trying again, but it's tipped out of her hands. It comes down into the hands of Schweller. Schweller to Pease. Pease to Giesige. Giesige from three, no. And now Pease with the put back, and that's good. Pease stays with it, gets the bucket. It's 31-22. Lady Ace is now down by nine. Phillips, as they put the pressure on, gets it down to Schrader. Schrader to Monroe. Monroe puts it up off Monroe makes it 31-24. Down the floor quickly. Kicks it back out to Pease. They'll move it around the perimeter. Tuck up to Gizigi. Gizigi drives into the paint, puts it up. No good, but draws the foul. 2.06 to go before halftime. And we're going back to the line again. Two shots for Audrey Giesegui. And that'll be uh, Kennedy Phillips picking up her first personal foul. And team foul number four for the Aces. Giesegui gets it. Essel back into the game for the Lady Panthers. And also checking in is uh, Brooke Ankney, number 22. Giesegui, one more shot for Balding. Misses that one, score remains 32-24. Phillips. Phillips looking for some help, gets it stripped away. Keys goes up one on three and puts it in. 34-24, 10 point lead now for the Panthers. Long pass down and out of bounds. And it goes back to Paulding. Smith is not able to get a hold of it, and it sails into the stands. 34-24, Panthers with a 10-point lead, a minute 40 before halftime. Gizegi. Over to Ankney. Ankney back to Gizegi. Under 90 seconds now. Gizegi gets it down to Pease. Pease into the paint. She'll stop. Kicks it back. Long shot from Manns. No good. Out of bounds. Lady Aces will get the ball back. A minute 18 to go in the half. They're down by 10. Brawl to Phillips. Full court pressure by the Panthers. Schrader to Phillips. They break the pressure and get it down. Smith 
Up, no good. Isagi grabs the rebound. Other way we come with Isagi behind the back dribble. Flips it over. Mans. Back to Gizagi. The man's top of the key. She'll toss it over to Ankney. And Ankney. Gonna get a time call on. So the Aces will get the ball back. 49.6 seconds to go before halftime. And Hicksville trails by 10. For all, and again, the uh, Panthers applying full court pressure here. Schrader. Double team, gets it over to Crawl. Crawl rockets it down to Smith. Smith over to Slattery, who puts it up off the iron, no good. Crawl with the put back, and down it goes. Thomas Crawl with a bucket to make it 34 26. 25 seconds. Ankney. Short. It comes down to Phillips. Phillips to Slattery. Slattery to Schrader. Schrader gets it skipped. Knocked out of bounds by Essel. No foul, but blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Aces. Down by eight. Slattery in to Phillips. Top of the key, Crawl to Schrader with 10. Crawl, bounce pass down low to Phillips. Nothing there. Phillips gets the ball blocked. Loose on the floor. Essel picks it up. Essel not able to get the shot off. And that will take us to halftime. We played the first 16 minutes, and at halftime, it's the Polding Lady Panthers leading the Lady Aces 34 to 26. Our halftime score. Well, it is halftime, and Chris and I are going to take a, a bit of a break, but we invite you to stay tuned because we will be back and. We'll have, of course, all of the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. scoring here as we get ready to get the second half underway. And again, this is unofficial, but it does all tally. Again, at halftime, our score, it's the uh, Lady Aces trailing the Paulding Panthers. Panthers leading 34 to 26. In the first half for the Lady Aces, they were led in scoring by Kenzie Schrader. She had five buckets for 10 points. Six points each for Avery Slattery off of two three-point shots. And Molly Crawl with a couple of field goals and two free throws and then two points each for Macy Eicher and Kelsey Monroe. Over on the Paulding side, their leading scorer and the only Panther in double figures was Janae Pease. Pease had five two-pointers and a three-pointer for 13 unofficially. After that, six points each for Jalen Parrott on two three-pointers and Audrey Giesegui with a three and three free throws. Five points for Claire Schweller and then two points each for Maggie Manns and Sadie Essel. So there you have it, 34-26, Panthers in the lead at halftime. Ready to get the third quarter underway. Holding will have the ball to get things started, and here we go. Baseline to Smith, knocked out of bounds. He's going to stay with the Lady Aces. 7.33 to go in quarter number three. Avery Slattery looking around. Avery gets it into Molly Crawl. Crawl guarded by Mans. 
Feeds it down low to Schrader. Schrader over to Phillips. Phillips gets it back to Crawl. Crawl to Slattery. Inside to Crawl, up and good. Crawl, first two points of the second half, make it 34-28. Down low to Essel. Has to pick it back out. Shot up from Carrot is good. 37-28. Called the timeout. So the Aces, Josh Fries saw a crawl in trouble, calls the timeout. It's a nine point game now. The Panthers leading 37 to 28. It'll be a full one minute timeout. It'll be the third timeout called by the Aces. They only have two remaining for the balance of the game. On the other side, the Panthers have yet to call a timeout, so they have their full complement of five if needed. 37-28, again, non-conference action for the Lady Aces. And uh, normally I could fill you in on stuff like what the upcoming schedule is and everything, but they don't have the actual programs printed up yet, so we just have sheets for the rosters here tonight. So I don't have a schedule in front of me. back at her. Woo. That one was blocked with a Thorita. Hands with the ball. Sends it over. Up and good for JD. Pease makes it 39-28 and it's back to an 11 point lead for the Lady Panthers. 6.26 to go. Schrader gets it into Phillips. Phillips. And deflected. Goes out of bounds. Stays with the Lady Aces. <coughs> Phillips into Slattery. Slattery down to Schrader. All alone under the hoop. Up and go. From the other way, Gizagi. To Carrot. Shot up, no good. Ball's loose, but Keyes grabs it. Out of bounds it goes. Off of Keyes again, and the Aces get it back. 39 30. Esso will come out in for her Schweller. Molly Crawl with the basketball. Six minutes to go in quarter number three. Lady Aces down by nine, and a foul. That'll be on Jalen Parrott. That'll be Parrott's third personal. Team foul number two, I believe, now on the Panthers. I'm only showing one, okay. 39-30. Schrader, oh, does a little pirouette there. The slow man is to put the ball through the hook. 39-32, Aces cut the Panthers lead to seven. Parrott, back in the way in, and she mishandles the ball, double dribble, turns it over. And now the Panthers are gonna take that timeout. 
30-second timeout for Paulding as the Aces have been able to cut into that lead just a little bit here to start the third quarter. 39-32, it's only a seven-point deficit now. It has been as much as 11. And so Paulding is going to try to uh, steady the rocking boat a little bit and get the girls back on track. Coach Freeze having a discussion with his players as well as we get ready to get back into action. Yeah. Oh, Christopher, when you put your feet forward onto the uh, seat in front of us, you ripped off the uh, blue masking tape. Well, i have to repair that before we leave. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Alive. Trader gets the ball inbounds to Crawl. Crawl across the timeline. Over to Slattery. Slattery powers it down to Iker. Iker puts it up off the bottom of the hoop, no good. And Gizigi with the rebound. Gizigi bosses it back to Pease. Pease goes in and draws the foul. And that'll be Iker's first personal. And team foul number two on the Lady Aces. And that's going to put Janae Pease at the line, shooting two. 39-32, Paulding. Make it 40 32. Slattery will step out and Kelsey Monroe into the game. Pease has one more free throw coming. That's going to be a miss, and Crawl grabs the rebound. Score remains 40 to 32. Phillips out to the top of the key. Phillips to Monroe. Monroe down in the corner to Iker. Iker bounce pass inside to Crawl. Up and good. Pease quickly the other way, behind the back dribble, Pease, bounce pass down to I Essel, Essel up no good. Ball saves the ball in the baseline, gets it into Schrader. Here comes Kenzie down the floor, Kenzie nice move, puts it up and go out. Oh, what a move by Kenzie Schrader. And here we go back the other way, Pease, and a whistle. And that'll be 15 white, Molly Crawl, her second personal. Common foul, team foul number three for the Aces. Easily puts it in from the side court. Gets it to Pease. Pease, guarded by Crawl. Pease tosses it over to Schweller. Schweller, free throw line. Back over to Pease. Pease moves around, puts it up, and he's going to be fouled by Schrader. Two shots. And Kenzie's going to pick up her third personal, it looks like. Indeed she does. Team foul number four on the Lady Aces. Personal foul number three for Kenzie Schrader. Four-point game, 40 to 36. And that's 41 to 36. After Pease hits the free throw. Iker will come out of the game. And Schrader will step out. Slattery into the game. Smith back in. Second shot for Pease. That's good. That makes it 42 36. Back to a six point deficit for the Lady Aces. Smith gets a long pass, gets it back to Crawl. Crawl loses the dribble. Loose on the floor. Gonna be a jump ball. Possession arrow will favor the Lady Aces, so they'll retain possession of the basketball. Crawl gets it inbound, slapped out of bounds by Essel. back into the game for Paulding. She will spell Parrott. 
Back to the action. Avery Slattery into crawl. Crawl traveled. Nice inbound, but Molly started moving just a fraction of a second too soon. Pizzi gets the ball into Pease. Four minutes, we're halfway through quarter number three. Sweller, jump shot, no good. Out of bounds. That'll be uh, Essel. So the Aces will get the ball back under the basket. Everybody will drop back. Panthers have turned off the full court pressure they were using at the second quarter. Ball. Monroe. Monroe. Block. Essel comes up with it. Gets it to Pease. Pease rockets it down to Schweller. Schweller. To Pease. Pease hands it to Gizagi. Gizagi. Gets it to Mans. Mans to Schweller. Schweller driving in. Kicks it back out. Gizagi. No good. Out of bounds. Gonna stay with Paulding. Smith and Essel were battling for it. Smith touched it last, but we're out of bounds. Kieske into Essel, up, no good. Crawl with the rebound. Crawl to Slattery. Slattery bounce pass to Smith, right back to Slattery. Slattery jump shot, no good off the iron. Essel grabs the rebound. She'll toss it over to Schweller. Schweller to Gisagi. Back to Ellis and Schweller, excuse me, that was Keys. Keys with the ball now, Schweller has it. Inside to Gisagi, found it. And she'll go to the line. Gisagi gets the bucket and the foul. That'll be uh, the second on Izzy Smith. Team foul number five on the Aces. And that's going to put Gizagi at the line. And she completes the three-point play. 45 to 36, back to a nine-point lead for the Panthers. Aces had it close to within four. See that slip away. Crawl. Runs into Gizagi. Shots no good. Gizagi coming back the other way. Looking up the court. Gizagi feeds it to Essel off and out. No good. Paul right there to grab the board. She's off with a slattery. And here come the Lady Aces. 2.14 to go in quarter number three. Phillips from the free throw line. Up, no good. Panthers quickly down the floor. Going coast to coast. No good. Crawl grabs it. Crawl to Monroe down to Smith along the baseline. Smith puts it up, no good, gets her own rebound. Kicks it up to Phillips. Phillips, good, long two. First bucket of the night for Kennedy Phillips. Makes it 45 to 38. Panthers still in the lead. Keys against Smith. Spin move, goes up to the hoop, up the move. Sprawl comes back the other way for the Lady Aces. Molly guarded by Pease, gets it to Smith. Smith to Slattery. Slattery, three throw line off to Phillips. Phillips for three, no good. Essel grabs the rebound for the Panthers. Down the floor quickly. Here comes Scheller. Sweller, no good. Put back up by Gusevi. Gusevi with the bucket to make it 49-38. Now the Panthers back up by 11. Puckhook and Supple getting ready to check back, check in for the Panthers. And that's going to be a foul on Nans as she reaches in on Slattery. That'll be Nans' first personal foul and team foul number two on the Panthers. Common foul and Aces will have the ball out of bounds side court. Just down in front of us. With 43.3 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Ball, hands 
it off to Phillips. Back to Crawl on the sideline. Crawl, spin move, goes straight to the hoop, puts it up, puts it in. A dozen points now for Molly Crawl unofficially, as it's 49-40, holding. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. And a whistle on the far side of that by Smith. Lizzie Smith picks up her third personal foul, and that's team foul number six. So the next foul committed by the Lady Aces puts the Panthers into the bonus for the rest of the game. Ball out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover to the Aces. Holding ahead 49 to 40, but the Lady Aces get the ball. 13.9 seconds to go in our third quarter. Molly Crawl with the ball. See if the Lady Aces can close the gap to seven. Schrader up, no good. It's the own rebound, turn around, no good. And say a jump ball. And they go to Paulding. 2.6 seconds. Elsa Monroe will come in for Kenzie Schrader. It'll be Paulding's ball with 2.6 seconds to go in the court. Leading by 9, 49 to 40. Too late. Mans hurls it the length of three quarters of the court. No good. And we played three. And at the end of the third quarter, it's the Lady Panthers leading Hicksville in this varsity basketball game. 49 to 40, the score. Well, we'll get ready to strap ourselves in for the fourth quarter, and we'll take a little time here to say another big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford. Of course, there's the Jim Schmidt truck lot and online at jimschmidtauto.com. We look forward to seeing you. Remember that you can visit the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships virtually or in person safely. They're taking all necessary precautions to make sure that is the case. You can check out their entire dealer inventory online at jimschmidtauto.com. And again, they make sure that everything is properly cleaned and all social distancing. All everything, is, everything is done to ensure a safe visit for you and your family you go visit the dealership. We're so proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters again for the 2020-2021 the basketball season. We hope you'll stop by, or if you ever do run into Jim or his lovely wife, uh, just make sure you let them know how much you appreciate being able to watch Aces Sports, because they're the ones who make it possible. Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Trader inbounds to Phillips as we get the fourth quarter underway. All loose on the floor. Everybody diving for it, and the Aces get it back down low to Eicher. Eicher loses it. It's on the floor again. And this time the whistle and a jump ball called. Go! My goodness. Basketball rolling around a heck of a lot to start this fourth quarter. Holding with the ball, they'll inbounds it to Janae Peace, and Peace will bring the ball up across half court, guarded by Crawl. Passes it off to Parrott. Parrott down to Mance, deflected by Eicher, and then slapped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Panthers. <laughs> Eicher will check out, and Phillips back in for Hicksville, and Gizegi will come back in for the Lady Panthers, and uh, Carly Cuckock will sit down for a rest. Inbounds to Mans, to Pease. He's spin move, drives into the paint, and passes it off to Gizegi. Gizegi for three. And we see his That makes it 52 to 40. It's now a 12 point lead for the Panthers. Phillips being guarded by Schweller. Gets it away, and then they're going to have a foul. That's going to be on Jalen Carrot. That'll be her fourth. Parrott picks up her fourth personal foul, and that's only team foul number three on the Panthers. Aces will have the ball out of bounds. Monroe gets it into Schrader, who immediately puts it up and makes a nice shot. Nice shot for Kenzie Schrader. 
make it 52 42. Schrader steals the ball away. He heads back to the hoop, puts it up, no good. PCD grabs the board. And they go back the other way quickly. PCD driving, putting the shot up, and good. PCD can drive to the bucket too. She puts it in 54 42. Balding. Schrader. Timeout, aces. Down by a dozen with six back to go this. in the game. Coach Freeze calls a full one minute timeout. And they only have one timeout remaining for the balance of the game. So the Panthers are leading by 12, 54 to 42. Holding, as we said, has committed three team fouls. The Aces have 16 fouls, which means the next foul committed by Hicksville will put the Panthers into the bonus for the rest of the game. And right now, six and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That means that uh, depending on when that foul happens, Paulding could be shooting a heck of a lot of free throws here before time runs out. <laughs> So the Aces have had a couple of good spurts here. Like I said, they closed the gap to four points, only to see that, that uh, slip away. And again, the Panthers have had another run and built the lead back up to 12 points. The junior varsity squad bumped the uh, JV Lady Aces earlier tonight. I'm kind of hoping for a re not avoiding a repeat of that, but going to be a lot of hard basketball to get back into this game. Phillips gets it into Crawl. Crawl off of Schrader's hands. Phillips gets it back, picks it back to Monroe, and Monroe throws it out of bounds. Crawl not able to get, on, get there in time. Ball goes out of bounds. Back to Hicksville with 6.27 to go. Here comes Janae Pease. Pease bounce pass to Gizagi, to Schweller. Schweller gets it back to Gizagi. Gizagi. Now to Parrott, Parrott puts it up off glass, no good turnaround, it's no good. Ball loose on the floor, we're gonna have a whistle and a push. And that's gonna be on Pease, that'll be her second personal and team foul number four on the Panthers. Crawl gets the ball, and she'll bring it across half court. Aces down by a dozen. Crawl travels. Tried to do that little hesitation move and then pass the ball, but she shifted just a little too much. So Paulding will get the ball back, just under six minutes to go. Pease hands it off to Gisagi. Gisagi back to Pease. It could be to Sweller. Weller, bounce pass, Pease, Pease almost loses it, gets it back. <laughs> Stolen away by <coughs> Schrader. Schrader gets the bucket, draws the foul. <laughs> 20 points now for Kenzie Schrader. It's a 10 point game thanks to that shot, 54-44. Kenzie at the line. Also, Maggie Manns picking up her second personal foul for Paulding in team foul number five. And that's good. up a three-pointer to make it 57-45, and just like that, back to a 12-point game. Schrader puts it up, no good. Gisagi with the board. Gisagi gets it out to Pease. Pease quickly down the floor, bounce pass, and rejected. Schrader coming the other way. Schrader takes it strong to the hoop, no good. Mans grabs the board. Back to Parrott. Parrott stops, lets her team catch up. Mans with the ball now on the wing. Back to Parrott. 
Back it up a little bit. Cross court to Schweller. Schweller. Now to Giesige. Giesige into the paint. Timeout. Holding will call a timeout. That'll be their second. They'll have three remaining. Quick 30 second timeout. Panthers leading by a dozen again. 57 to 45. They're going to stop, catch their breath, talk it over, and get ready for the stretch run here. So we've got, uh, let's see, unofficially Janae Pease for the Panthers. I've got for 20 points so far tonight. Kenzie Schrader has got uh, 21. And Audrey Gizegi is sitting with 16. And a dozen for Molly Crawl. So lots of players in double figures. And right now it looks like Schrader leading all scores with 21. Still have four and a half minutes to go in this contest. Holding with the ball into Essel. Essel gets it to Schweller. Schweller to Gizegi. And back to Schweller on the way. Now to Pease. Pease, top of the key. Another offense all alone. Schweller. Schweller takes it up and gets it stripped. Schrader comes up with it. Schrader across court to Slattery and slapped out of bounds by Pease. Avery upset at herself for that pass getting slapped out of bounds. Breaking up the rhythm a little bit. It'll be Aces ball out of bounds side court. Slattery gets it into Molly Crawl. Crawl down into the corner to Smith. To Crawl, stolen away, and she gets it back. Crawl puts it up. Got it. She's going to get it alive. Molly Crawl with a bucket in the foul. 14 points now for Molly, and that'll be a foul number three on Janae Pease and team foul number six on the Panthers. to 47, now a 13 point lead. Off the hands of Crawl into Essel's hands, he gets it down to Gizegi, Gizegi to pair it up and going. I'll make it 62-47, 325 to go. And that's gonna be a foul on Claire Schweller, that'll be her first. Team foul number seven, though, so Molly Crawl is going to go to the line to shoot one and one. So the ace is in the bonus now, and they get to shoot free throws for the remaining three minutes and 22 seconds of this contest. Shot no good. This is the front end. Schrader, though, with a rebound, no good. Eicher takes the shot, no good. And Colton finally coming up with the ball. Quickly down the floor, Pease. Pease puts it up off glass and the line. 64-47, Phillips. Guarded by Essel, bounce pass, and a whistle. She tried to get it to Schrader, making a cut. And Schrader is going to go to the line. And that'll be personal foul number four on Janae Pease. Schrader, again, one and one. And she gets it. Hits the front end, so she gets the bonus. Gets them both. She goes to Essel. Essel puts it up. No good, but she'll draw the foul. And 
that will be number three on Molly Call, and that'll be team foul number seven. So now the Panthers in the bonus two. Essel hits the first one to make it 65 to 49. She'll get the bonus. And she hits them both. Sadie Essel, four points now on the evening for her. 2.48 to go and timeout on the floor. 66 to 49. Pauling's going to take a full one minute timeout here. The Panthers will have two timeouts remaining for the balance of the game. The Aces have only one timeout remaining. So they'll have to be careful with how they use it. As we get ready to go into the home stretch here of this varsity contest. I want to thank all of you who are watching along with us. Appreciate having you tune in by. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Bill Murphy and Chris Warner. The uh, next game for the Lady Aces is on the road. As a matter of fact, they're on the road for the next two games coming up. On uh, Thursday, December 3rd, the uh, Lady Aces will be playing at Fairview. And on December 5th, they will be playing at Defiance. So we'll have a bit of a break. Uh, they don't have another home game that we'll be covering for you until December 14th, when the Lady Aces will be hosting Stryker. Back into action, Phillips with the ball. Knocked away by Essel, it'll be out of bounds. Breaks up the offensive set. And Lady Aces retain the ball at least. They'll have it out of bounds, side court on the far side. Avery Slattery will run over to do the inbounds. Gets it in to Phillips. Phillips feeds Schrader, cuts across and lays it up and lays it in. Gizagi over to Pease. Back to Gizagi. Gizagi gets it out of Parrott. Parrott to Schweller. Schweller to Pease as they're taking the air out. Look at the Lady Aces come out for him. Getting time off that clock. Schweller kicks it back out to Pease. Pease down to Schweller in the corner. Schweller guarded by Monroe. Takes it into the paint to Essel and back out to Gizagi. Giesegui, now down to Pease, right back to Giesegui on the wing. Under two minutes to go now. Schweller to Essel, to Pease, as they go around the corner, around the rim again, all right. Garrett, dribbling out to the top again, tosses it over to Pease. Pease kicks it into Essel. Essel, almost going away, and we're finally gonna get a foul. Schrader. Kenzie's going to pick up her fourth personal. Team foul number eight. Izzy Smith back into the game. They spell Kelsey Monroe. And at the line, Schweller hits the first one. Makes it 67 to 51. 16 point lead now for the Lady Panthers. Schweller gets one more and hits them both. She connects on both the free throws. 90 seconds left in the game. Crawl across the timeline. Spin move down to Phillips on the wing. Phillips looking things over, top of the key. Gets it to Smith. Smith to Slattery. Slattery will drive in off of Schrader's hands. Gets it before it goes out of bounds. Kenzie driving into the paint, lays it up. Count it. Schrader gets the bucket and draws the foul. That'll be the second on Sadie Essel. Team foul number nine. 68 to 53. Make it 68 to 54. 
running out of room. Keeping track of Schrader's score. Back onto the floor. A minute to go in the contest. Thieves to Gisagi. Gisagi over to Schweller. Schweller to Parrott. Guarded by Smith. Parrott to Gisagi. Gisagi barely handles it, gets it to Schweller. Back to Gisagi. Gisagi with 45 seconds. Now to Keys and now back to Schweller. Schweller, Parrott. Parrott. Stolen away by Schrader. Kenzie takes it up and lays it in. Two seconds, bounce pass to Parrott. She's gonna hold on to the ball for a little bit. And to Schweller with 15. Knocked out of bounds. Josh Reese calling out to his team, no fouls. Out of bounds, they launch it in. That's to Pease. Pease is gonna dribble, 10 seconds. Pease working around, gets it out. Parrott's Parrot, going to hold the ball, and that'll do it. 68 to 56. The Lady Panthers winning here tonight in the varsity game. Do some quick computations. Here's an official final score. All right. Adding up as fast as I can. Here we go. Unofficial scoring for tonight's varsity action. First off, for the Lady Aces on the short end of the scoreboard. Uh, they were leading, led in scoring, leading all scorers here tonight, as a matter of fact. Kenzie Schrader, what a night. She put in five field goals for 10 points at halftime. And then in the second half, she added an additional 20 to finish up with 30 points unofficially here tonight. The other ace in double figures was Molly Crawl. She had six in the first half and added eight more to finish up tonight with 14. Aside from that, six points from Avery Slattery and two points each for Kennedy Phillips, Macy Eicher, and Kelsey Monroe. Over on the other side, the victorious Lady Paulding Panthers tonight. Their leading scorer in double figures was Janae Pease. Pease had 13 in the first half and added uh, nine more in the second half to finish up with 22 points overall. A couple of Panthers with 16 points to their credit. Jalen Parrott and 16 points also tonight for Audrey Gizagi. Parrott had a couple of threes, actually four threes tonight and two two-point field goals. Audrey Gizagi, six in the first half and then she put in two, four, six, nine, ten more in the second half for 16 points to her credit. After that, it was uh, Claire Schweller with seven points tonight, four points for Sadie Essel, and two points for Maggie Manns. So there you have it, 68-56, your final score as we wrap up the varsity action for this evening. As I mentioned, the uh, next uh, couple of games for the uh, Lady Aces are going to be on the road. We'll call up the... Uh, schedule here. They again will be playing at Fairview on Thursday night and then on Saturday at 12 noon they will be at Defiance. The uh, next game the Lady Aces are back here at the Red Zone that we will have for you on the Hicks TV live stream is going to be December 14th where they will host Stryker and again as we've been saying a lot we'll put an asterisk by that too because that will be COVID-19 permitting, I guess. So hopefully we'll be able to get that in and we'll look forward to talking to you again back at the Red Zone coming up on December 14th for girls basketball action. Oh, so with that, I think, yeah, we're going to uh, wrap things up this evening. A tough loss for the Lady Aces earlier tonight. The JVs also took it on the chin, courtesy of the Lady Panthers. Holding won the JV game 43 to 14. And they take the varsity game here tonight. Hey, again, a big thank you to the Hicksville Athletic Department and Athletic Directors Jeff Hott and Paul Overmeyer for uh, giving us our space and making sure that we were able to set up and be able to broadcast safely. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Thanks also 
to our basketball broadcast underwriters, Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Most of all, thanks to you for tuning by and joining us. We hope you enjoyed our coverage, whether you're watching on the Facebook Live live stream on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page, whether you're watching on Mediacom Channel 12 or on Video On Demand on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching, and we hope you have enjoyed our Lady Aces basketball coverage. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. One last time tonight in the varsity game. Final score, it was the Paulding Lady Panthers beating the Lady Aces of Hicksville 68-56. to For Chris Warner running the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good night and good sports.